Hey guys, how are you doing? It is time for another wig review. This is Paula Young Dance, and it is in the color F888-8, so that's the root color. It's a rooted wig. It is, um, I believe it's just a standard wig. I don't think it's VersaFiber or um, Whisper Light, but I could be mistaken. So anyway, this is the wig, and it reminds me so much of Noriko Sky, which was the first Noriko wig I ever bought, and um, I modified that to make it more into a into more of a wiglet top piece, and it worked really well. I do have a couple of videos in my wig playlist on how to modify a wig, so if you're interested, go check it out. But this is. This is the cutie little dance. Um, I was interested in this because I had seen Cindy, Cindy in OK, Cindy, or Cindy in OK, Cindy in Oklahoma. And uh, Barbara, I don't know what your channel name is, Barbara. It's too long for me to remember. <laughs> anyway, they both reviewed this. It looks fabulous on both of them. Um, Cindy's was in a silver. I believe it was a gray or a silver, and Barbara's uh, was in a highlighted brown color, I believe. Um, but Kathy told me that she had a hard time styling this, and so that's why she put it on eBay. And Kathy, I can see why, because for some reason, these fibers are really dry on the ends, especially right here. That's the worst part. The rest isn't quite so bad, but even up in here on the ends, I can feel that they're dry and stiff. So what I did when I got it was I washed it and then I soaked it in a little fabric softener. I got this either at Dollar Tree or 99 cent only. Um, it's a nice inexpensive fabric softener for your synthetic wigs. Um, and then I, once it dried, it still felt really dry, especially here on the end. So, I used some of this, this Hawaiian silk. I got this at Sally Beauty. It's made for human hair. Um, it has a lot of really good ingredients in it. And um, so what I did was I sprayed a little bit in my hands and then worked it through the dry areas uh, of the fibers. And it helped a little bit, but they're still really dry. Like especially here, that's the worst part. So I don't know, I might try to trim some of that off. I might modify this into more of a wiglet. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but let me give you the spin. It is just so cute and the back is awesome. I love the back. It is so cute and uh, it's just such a cute shorty wig. I think that I'm not liking the short wigs on me anymore. Whoops, sorry, I dropped something. Um, and I think it's because I've gained a lot of weight in the last couple of years, and so, I don't know. I just don't like the short wigs on me anymore like I used to. I used to wear my hair really short, and in my old videos you could see. And then I went on that diet and lost a bunch of weight, lost a bunch of hair. And that's when I started wearing wigs. My hair grew back eventually, but the older I get, being menopausal, it just keeps getting thinner and thinner all the time. So anyway, I might play around with this and see if I can um, make it work better. But I guess the takeaway is if you get a wig, you know, from whatever company you get it from, if it seems like there's something just isn't right about it, maybe you should just consider sending it back, returning it, or exchanging it for something else. But it, this definitely has some issues. So I will link Cindy and Barbara's um, videos below so you can check out their videos and their um, review on dance. And I will just see you in my next video. And hope you're having a great week. Love you guys, bye.